I always loved watching the movies, too, because I got to practice my Yoda voice. Hello, you so you want to be a Jedi? You know, <laughs> things like that. Someday soon, possibly very soon, God's focus will shift from the Gentiles and back to his covenant people, the Jews. Now, this requires several explanations for, uh, of several questions. The first question that we're going to answer this morning is, so why the hardening of Israel that Paul talks about in here? Israel displayed a hardness of heart, and they rejected Jesus as Messiah when Jesus offered the kingdom to them. And so at present, only a small proportion of Jews are coming to know Jesus as Messiah. In fact, Paul refers to them as a remnant. And Paul clearly says that there'll be, there's a, there is a hardening in part until the full number of the Gentiles has come in. He uses a very uh, interesting technical term there. When he says the full measure, it really is like the, literally, it's the full mark on a measure. So what, what is it that will mark the boundary of that fullness of time? It will be the removal of the church from the scene in an event that we call the rapture of the church. And then verse 26, notice what he says there. And in this way, all Israel will be saved. So that's our third question for today. What, what does he mean by all Israel? Well, God at the end of the age will draw the children of Abraham to Jesus. There's, it's going to be a miraculous, marvelous thing that takes place. In fact, God spoke of it through the prophet Isaiah, uh, excuse me, the prophet Zechariah, five centuries before Christ. I mean, think about that for a moment. You say, well, I mean, come on. They're all going to turn? Yes, you've got to realize. When you and I came to know Christ, we, we tend to think because we're free agents, Americans, we think that it was, oh, it was all my decision to come to know Christ. The only reason why you came to know Jesus Christ is because the Father drew you to him. So it is both your choice and a sovereign act of God. And God will sovereignly act in the lives of all of those Jews. He'll fulfill his promises. He's never forgotten his covenant with them. And all of those survivors at the end of that tribulation, all of them in a day, will come to know Christ. And that brings us to our final question. And we already hinted at it, really. How will Israel be saved? By grace, through faith, in, a, in the finished work of Jesus, and in his bloody death and his resurrection from the dead. But there remains a much bigger question, and it's not about Jew or Gentile. It's about you. God promises in Ezekiel 36, 26, he says, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from, your, from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. Maybe you're right at that point today. 